Hi everyone, look at that. Another beautiful spring day. Sunshine, oh, what more could you ask for? Today, I'm heading down to Brighton. Really looking forward to this one. Keep watching. Well, my good friends, today I thought to myself, do you know what, it's been a long time since I had fish and chips. So today I've decided to drive down to Brighton and get myself some traditional good old fish and chips. Well, I hear you ask, why are you driving all the way down to Brighton for fish and chips? Well, yeah, I can get fish and chips in London, and yes, there are some good fish and chip shops in London, but I've always been a strong believer of fish and chips on the seaside, just unbeatable. So yeah, today I'm going to take you down to Brighton for fish and chips. I'm also going to show you a little bit of Brighton, but I'm not going to have much time to walk through the streets and alleyways. So what I've decided to do is grab a boat and show you the whole of Brighton from the coastline. How about that? I don't think this is the main Brighton Marina, but just been from that for dinner in Nando's, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, heading out to the ocean now with all these lovely boats, absolutely amazing. Here, look. Hope you know where we're going, mate. That way. <laughs> going that way, says <laughs> sweet. So I'm on this little cruise. Where are we going? We're uh, doing a shoreline run along uh, Brighton's Brighton shoreline, right. taking in the, uh, the the two piers, yeah. uh, the I360 and along to uh, to home. Well, there you have it. And your name is? Steve. Steve, so if you're ever in Brighton, uh, pop down to, is that Brighton Harbour we just came out of? That's Brighton Marina. Yeah. That's Brighton Marina. Come down and see Steve and uh, he'll give you a little tour of Brighton shoreline. To be honest, I haven't chosen the best of days to come out on a boat ride, but the main reason why I'm doing this, because there's thousands of videos out there you can watch on the streets, lanes, bars, restaurants and all that kind of thing uh, that you can see in Brighton and I thought I'd be a little bit different so I've decided to uh, show you a little bit of Brighton from the coastline. All the outside things, all the crisscross stuff inside, that's all the original and then what they've done is they, they piled all the, uh, the, the single piles without the crisscross lattice stuff and made it wider. And there you have it, Brighton in its full glory. Admittedly, the beaches are a little bit empty this time of the year, as to be expected, but give it another month and I guarantee you, you will not be able to even find a spot on that beach where you can put your towel down. It's going to be absolutely jam-packed. And on that note, I'm going to head back inland because I've had enough of the ocean waves. I'm going to find myself a little restaurant and treat myself to fish and chips on the seaside in Brighton. This is Brighton, my good friends. And look at that. I guess that used to be a bus stop or a tram stop. It's now like just a little sit down place where you can sit down, have your sandwiches, chill out. And over there is the old pier. Funny looking house over there. Upside down house, I guess that is. All interesting stuff going on in Brighton, isn't there? Look at that, the old pier. 
If ever you watch the film Quadrophenia, look at that. That thing goes all the way to the top. I think it's a restaurant. And you can sit down, and have yourself a meal and go up and come down again. But yeah, the old pier. And if you ever looked, if you ever saw the film Quadrophenia, then you'd recognize this beach on that film. And that's where they um, they went and sat under the, under the pier when it was all up and standing back in the day, showing my age now. But yeah, it all took place here. Brighton ain't what it used to be, but it's still a nice place. So I'm heading over to Pinello, which is a Mediterranean restaurant. And I'm gonna grab myself something to eat there, if I can cross this road without getting run down. Well, it's time for something to eat, and I thought I'd check out Pinello. Pizza, pasta, seafood, steaks. Yeah, like Italian, Mediterranean sort of how you doing? Ah, let's go and check this little place out. Now to be 100% honest, I would rather have found myself a proper traditional little chippy. You know, the kind where you walk in, order your food, by the time you walk out, you actually smell like a fish and chip shop. Well, unfortunately I'm a bit cut for time and today I've decided to go to this Pinello restaurant. Now, although they are predominantly Mediterranean, they do actually do fish and chips in here. So I've ordered myself a bit of place and chips because I fancy place and chips. I know there's those of you who say, why don't you have a bit of cod? Why don't you have a bit of husk? Well, actually they've only got place and chips on the menu, so unless you wanted a plate of sardines, of course, place and chips it is. Thank you. 